children in this video we will learn how to multiply two numbers bhola is passing through the forest he saw a shiny object at some distance what is this shiny object it's a box bhola took a closer look and tried hard to open the box but the box did not open bhola noticed that the box was closed with a lock which could be opened with a four digit code looks like i'll have to use a four digit code to open this box thought bhola bhola noticed that this multiplication was written under the lock Well, now I understand. The code to open this lock could be thirty-seven times fifty-two. Bhola thought excitedly. He quickly wrote this multiplication on a paper. Here, the two-digit number thirty-seven is being multiplied by the two-digit number fifty-two, and. Because fifty-two is a two-digit number, I can multiply thirty-seven with fifty-two in two steps. Fifty-two is made by adding two to fifty. So first, I will multiply thirty-seven by two, and then multiply it by fifty. Thought Bhola. Thirty-seven multiplied by two is seventy-four, and now I will first write zero here, and then multiply thirty-seven by five. Thirty-seven times five is one hundred and eighty-five. Now. Finally I will add 74 and 1850. Oh wow! I got the code for this lock. The code for this lock could be 37 times 52 or 1924. Bhola quickly entered 1924 in the lock code. and the lock open but what is this there is another box inside this box and this box too has a four digit lock just like the first box this time this multiplication is written under the lock bhola thought here we are multiplying the three digit number 263 by the two digit number 19 since 19 is a two digit number i can do this multiplication in two steps i can write 19 by adding 10 and 9 so first i'll multiply 263 with 9 then i'll multiply 263 with 10 Nine times two hundred and sixty-three is two thousand three hundred and sixty-seven. Now, to multiply two hundred and sixty-three with ten, first I will write a zero here, and then I just have to multiply two hundred and sixty-three with one. Two hundred and sixty-three multiplied by one is two hundred and sixty-three. And now, finally, in this way, two thousand three hundred and sixty-seven plus two thousand six hundred and thirty is four thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven. Bhola quickly entered this code in the lock, and the lock opened. When Bhola opened the small box. He found a unique toy in it. We will see what this unique toy can do in the next video. Bhola took the toy out of the box and went home with it.
children in this video we learned how to multiply two numbers in the next video we will see some more interesting examples related to this In the previous video we learned how to multiply two numbers. In this video we will see some more interesting examples related to this. In the previous video we saw how Bhola opened the codes of the boxes using multiplication and found a unique toy from the small box. Now let's see what is unique about this toy. Bhola noticed that this toy has a slot. He could not figure out the use of that slot. So Bhola used it as a stand and placed 125 pencils in it. As soon as Bhola put his pencils in that slot, the number 125 appeared under the slot. Bhola got excited. Wow! This toy tells the number of items kept in the slot, thought Bhola. Bhola fell asleep thinking about this. The next morning when Bhola woke up, he saw that this multiplication was now written under the slot. Hmm, 125 is the number of my pencils. But what is this multiplied by 111? My pencils are looking much more than 125 too. Uh, could it be that this toy has made my pencils 111 times? Let me first find the answer to this multiplication. Then I will count these pencils and see if this really happened. Children, can you help Bhola to do this multiplication? Let's do this together. Here we are multiplying a three digit number 125 with another three digit number 111. So in how many steps can we do this? That's right, three steps. We can write 111 in the expanded form by adding 1 and 10 to 100. First, we will multiply 125 with 1. How much is 125 times 1? Exactly, 125. Now, we will multiply 125 with 10. We will do it easily in this way. First, we will write 0 here. Then, we just have to multiply 125 with 1. In this way, 125 multiplied by 10 would be 1250. Now, we just have to multiply 125 with 100. Because there are two zeros in a hundred, we will first write two zeros. And now, we just have to multiply 125 with 1. Now, by adding these three numbers, in the end, we get the answer to our multiplication 125 times 111 as 13,875. Bola too found the answer to this multiplication just like us and then counted the number of his pencils and found that both are exactly the same. Bhola cannot believe his eyes. <laughs> oh wow, this toy is really amazing. I'll see what happens tonight by putting 252 toffees in it. Who knows if this magic happens again, 
then this time I could get a lot of toffees. Thought Bola. Bola put 252 toffees in the toys slot and fell asleep. The next day, Bola saw this multiplication in the toy. How many toffees are these now? Bola is thinking. Children, can you help Bola find the answer to this multiplication? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. We can find the answer to this multiplication in this way. Well done children! Your answer is absolutely correct! Bola now has 252 times 222 or 55,944 toffees! Bola started dancing with joy on getting so many toffees. Children, in this video we saw some more interesting examples of how to multiply two numbers. Hello children, 